Hey, it's me. Look at it. T from the Pattersons taking a train to Tibet. My glasses are You know, so I could, I better start wearing, because you know, every time when I do one of these, because I do this in the rough, you know what I mean? I don't have no hat on, I have no glass on. I think I'm gonna put, rather than my sunglasses or my other, whatever, I'm gonna start wearing these. Hey, I look intellectual. Okay, this is gonna be short. No, wait a second. It's late. What time is this late? It's like six something on a Sunday night. Not a Sunday, what's, what is, I lost guy. Saturday, right? Uh, the people that, uh, the people I'm house sitting for just came. They had to pick up some, uh, some equipment, some, uh, a computer and a, a printer or whatever, whatever, because, you know, they down there, they, 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 they're ready for the summer because they can work from home, whatever have you. That, that I'm not going to be here that long. No, I'm, I'm going to be here now, whatever. I don't know. I, I can't. Well, I can't. No, I can't. <laughs> I've got to go, got to go. I got other things to do. So now, what that means here, since I know I got to be here a little longer, that means I have to make this space a certain way. But anyway, uh, that's not what I want to talk to you about. I'm, I'm drinking. I drink dark beer. Actually, it's it's Guinness Stout. I'm sorry, extra stout. Because it's afternoon, come on. I know we're in the point of cold. We shouldn't be drinking. Look, let me tell you something. We're not drinking, but you know, you could cut it down. You know, don't be like, look, 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 look. Don't be drinking like, I did a, <laughs> I did a workshop once with, up there with the Cree Indians all the way up there, Canada, way up there. You know where the geese fly home. You know, you know where you eat moose and, and, and elk and that kind of thing, you know. <laughs> anyway, them folks, they'll start drinking on a Thursday night. And they drink. They call it drinking to the bottom of the bottle. So they got to go back to work. Well, if they go to work on Friday, but they got to work on Monday. So basically, they drink for Thursday night, all the way till Monday morning, constantly drinking. That's drinking to me. That's drinking. Like having a, a dog Guinness every four days or something like that, or whatever, whatever. I'm drink, whatever doesn't matter. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Um, first of all, I want to start make this shorter. I shouldn't say I should just make them shorter, shouldn't I? People, I, I hate when, especially news people, they say, and we have a report from so-and-so, we're going to talk about so-and-so, and so-and-so. Then they go, hey, hi, I'm so-and-so, so-and-so, and here's my report about so-and-so, and so-and-so, so Then I say, that was so-and-so with so-and-so, and so-and-so, and so-and-so. It's stupid the way that they report me. You know what I mean? It's like, just put stuff out there, we'll put it together. For instance, right now, what's the two biggest things? Well, the biggest thing is Corona, right? But then they had this other thing with the, um, I'm sorry, I have to smile, I have to laugh because it's like the, um, what do you call those people? The, the, they call them murder hornets, hornet, hornet murderers. They kill the hornets. <laughs> they're like two inches. They're like two inches. Like that's about two inches, right? A regular bee or a hornet, a regular hornet is like that. And I've been stung. South Africa has hornets. I got stung by a South Africa. And that's, it hurt. I'm telling you, it hurt. But anyway, but these are, but the thing is, they got bigger stingers too. They wouldn't go right through all your stuff. You think you wear some protective? Ah. But here's what I want to talk about. So it related to the, the killer hornets and the virus. Okay? Here's the thing. The problem we have right now is we are, is it called mully colored? Mully colored? Look, we're pampered. <laughs> pampered. You know? That's the problem. Human beings are not supposed to be pampered. And we and and, 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 and you know, Lori Garrett wrote this book called The Coming Plague. And they said human beings do everything to get, you know, to do, I don't know, to get to do harm to themselves. Let's put it that way. You know, do everything to exterminate themselves. But the funny thing is you don't have to do that. You, you have other choices. You can do other things. But here's the thing. If you constantly make it easy for a human being, it's not supposed to, we got brains. We're supposed to figure stuff out. If you make it easy for a human being, then people will do the easiest things. One of the problems, the problem that we have right now has to do with laziness. People don't want to do their jobs. And I'm talking about regulators who are supposed to regulate. We talk about politicians who are supposed to, are supposed to legislate. You know, we talk about all kinds of, you know, and, and I, look, let me say something. I don't care, Andrew Cuomo, uh, 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 G Gavin Newsom, uh, uh, Donald Trump, stop listening to them. They do not know. In your, you're supposed to have a little circle. And in your little circle, you're supposed to have somebody in medicine, somebody in history, somebody in sociology, somebody in philosophy, you know what I mean? In your circle, 
You should in your intimate circle, you have to have all these people. So when somebody from the outside, you know, like uh, you know, what why are you gonna Okay. If somebody comes from the outside like a Cuomo or a Newsom or, you know, a Trump, then you don't have to listen to them. Cause you got somebody you got some a political scientist in your circle. So what are they really saying? You see what I'm saying? No, you don't see what I'm saying. But that's not what I was gonna talk about. All I'm trying to say is that I'm looking at these two phenomena. Well, phenomena, two happenings, two things that are happening, right? The virus, right, and the hornets. Now, first of all, the hornets ain't affected by the virus. Okay, that's fine. But here's my thing. Human beings, we can solve this problem, this virus problem, by evolving like the virus evolved. Like for instance, right now in Africa, Madagascar has a beverage that they're taking that's supposed to do something, right? But because of, 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 I don't know what you want to call it, because the West, or the, uh, I don't know, these people who think they're in charge say, no, we're not going to do, we don't want to deal with that. We're going to deal with, you, you pay us. We, we created the problem. Now we're going to pay us to solve the problem. No, it's not, it is a world problem. That means you should be, be talking to everybody in the world, but you don't. They want to wait and they want to give them, the, if they have a cure or something like that, they want to give it to their peoples. You see what I'm saying? So what I'm trying to say is, is in your little circle, anybody in your little circle can solve a problem. That's the problem, because we all got brains. And guess what? You know, nobody's brain is better. But anyway. I know, yeah, yeah, Isaac Newsom, all of them. No, no, their brains weren't any better than anybody else, because they may be good at this, but they were deficient in something else. You see what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying. Your brain size and whatever. I'm going to get into that right now. But here's the thing. The Hornets are there and what they do they send a scout out right and the scout goes and finds a bee and say hey we're going to use these bees because you know what we do we cut off their heads you know we put them in the tank and then we take it to uh, the feed their queen and then they make more baby hornets and they, they be big hornets but we we do stuff right and so we need well we well we need to we need to send a scout out and the scout says hey there's a colony right there and it goes checks and it spreads a little pheromones you know, like sense, you know, to say, hey, come over here. Well, the bees, at least, at least, at least the Japanese bees, because this, this whole, this is Japan? Yeah, I think this whole killer, killer hornets come from Japan. Well, the Jap Japanese bees say, hey, man, we've been suffering like, well, we got to do something about this. So, like any thinking, sentient being, I don't know if bees are sentient or not, but they said, here's what we do. We lure the scout in, who because when the scouts hit their pheromone thing, their pheromone button, then they tell everybody else where we at, and then where where you know where where the food is at, where the bees are at. So we need to neutralize that cat. In other words, they thinking, hey, we need to, we don't need to deal with the whole swarm. We can't wait for the swarm. We gotta prepare that one cat. What we do is we get we'll trap him. And then he comes in, right, and then but we all we all will jump at one time on. On this dude, we'll shake our tail feathers. That's a black term, check, shake your tail feather. Anyway, we'll take our tail wheel, and basically we'll raise the temperature around this dude, the scout, to a temperature that will roast the scout. They solve their problems. And these are bees. We're human beings. We can't solve this problem, this c Corona <laughs> problem, this virus problem, this white people telling us how to solve a problem problem. I am through with white people. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm through with white mentality. Uh, you're gonna send a. They're throwing, trying to throw capitalist uh, uh, solutions to this problem. This is not a capitalist problem. This is a problem. Well, it is a capitalist problem. You see what I'm saying? Whatever they come up with, I don't trust. I would trust. Remember, Madagascar is the one that's got to. to, to uh -uh. Ain't no pharmaceutical company in, 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 in you know, Bristol, whoever. So there's certain people you should have in your circle, certain people you should be checking out right now, especially now when you got the time. Just check it out. But all I got to say, and I'm telling you, it's from an undisclosed location. You got to start listening to other people. Anybody has a white mentality, which means a mentality that wants to conquer, that wants to grab everything, that wants to marginalize you, that is not the mentality. That's not the person you want to listen to. 
And all they do is they, they keep on switching, switching this person for this. And now they have the, the, here's the funny thing. This is the worst switch they ever tried, you know. Well, we, they don't want Trump. We'll give them Biden. I rest my case. Talk to you later.